This is the last in the series on Octopus Go. The bill is in, um, so let's see what that's got to say for itself. So, the bill's in. We've got the first month's usage, and let's just take a look at this right now. What you get is a PDF document, and every day um, is broken down into a, into a page on there, and you can see uh, half hourly uh, usage. Um, now, this is what the smart meter is giving you, and we can see uh, on a normal day, uh, we're not using very much energy at all. Um, because uh, it's currently the summertime and we've got solar panels so during the day uh, the energy consumption is, is practically zero um, when the base load is being consumed and then there's a little bit around the evening time when we're having dinner and that kind of stuff. Overnight when we're not charging the car um, you can just see the base load um, but then if we move on to a day where we've, uh, where we've done some charging um, then you can see uh, that we've got um, uh, a huge amount of electricity being consumed when we are charging the car. Now we've set our Zappy charger to kick in at half past midnight and run for three and a half hours which takes us to four o'clock. Now that's what we've chosen to do. You could also program your car uh, to do the same thing but what we've found is actually it's much easier to leave the car on always charging and then use the Zappi to control when we want the car to be charged. So, the way we've got our Zappi set up is that it will charge the car um, overnight uh, using the boost function, um, and then during the day we've got it set to Eco Plus. Well, actually we've got it to set to Eco Plus all of the time. Um, and what Eco Plus means is that it will only charge from our solar. So, any extra energy that it's, it's using is coming from the solar when it's not in that um, very cheap 5p per kilowatt hour period. So if you look at the uh, 18th of August here, we've got our um, huge amount of consumption between half past midnight and four o'clock in the morning, and you can see the rate um, in the pink line uh, showing that it's dropping down to the 5p uh, per kilowatt hour. So we're getting all of this electricity for um, a lot less than uh, what we would uh, we'd normally be charged if we were doing it at any other point during the day, which is fantastic. What you can see here is during this day particularly, the, the total price for our energy consumption was £2.03. Um, now obviously not all of that is uh, for uh, the electric car, there's other usage um, going throughout the day, um, but because you've got such a... Um, uh, because you've got such a, a, a detailed breakdown here, you can actually copy out each of the rows um, and paste that into Excel um, or numbers. And what I've got here on this uh, spreadsheet is I've got the 17th of August and the 18th of August. Um, I've just taken the uh, hours of um, half past midnight to four o'clock in the morning. And then what I've done is I've um, uh, compared the two um, so I've taken out the base load from the 18th of August to see how much um, it's cost to charge the car, just to, just to charge the car. Um, because the base load's going to be the same uh, from one day to the next, uh, um, mostly. Um, so you can see there that it's cost £1.23 to charge uh, the car. Now, I will say that this car wasn't um, completely empty. Um, it was probably, you know, 30, 40 miles left on, on its range. But you know, £1.23, um, you know, uh, compared to my other car, 70, 80, 90 pounds um, to, to fill that up, um, it's a huge, huge difference and um, something that really just shows how little money um, it costs to charge um, an electric car. So uh, it's really great. Um, I think um, Octopus have got a great... Um, uh, Octopus have got a great little tariff here going on um, and the smart meters really sort of coming into their own. Um, this is I think one of the best uses of smart metering. I don't think necessarily knowing how much you're consuming is enough to justify uh, the rollout but creating smart tariffs like this, time of day tariffs, that kind of thing, um, is, a, is, a great way, is a great way of doing it. So, so there we go. Um, I did also get this uh, from Octopus Energy 
um, a little Octo here, or not, not so little Octo here. Um, and Octo might be coming with me on some journeys that we do in the future, which is why I thought it'd be cool to have Octo. Um, there is a bit of a psychological test going on if you do want an Octo. I shall post it in the link below. You, you have to be an Octopus Energy customer, so, you know, if you want a cuddly toy, um, use my referral code DENSEDODO963 and then you can sign up, get one of these, and uh, it's all good. Um, but when you do uh, get one of these, um, they do ask you whether you want a cuddly toy or you'd rather donate uh, to saving the planet. So I think there'll be a, a kind of um, a, a news story coming out later when they use all this data to say that most people would like uh, a cuddly toy rather than save the planet. Um, but actually I've got some, uh, some uses for uh, him on this channel. Um, so um, I, thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd get that. Um, just for a bit of fun and uh, keep the kids entertained. So, thanks for watching. Give it a like and all that jazz, no pressure. Um, likewise, no pressure with the referral code. I've been, uh, been amazed um, at the response on the referral code, so really appreciate um, everyone um, who has used it and um, is thinking about using it. It makes a um, uh, it makes a, it makes a big difference, and um, I, I you know I'm, I'm I'm truly humbled, like I said, in my uh, in my last video about that. So um, so there we go. It's um, it's all in. It's all good. Did I have any issues? I've got one issue um, which I had with my gas, um, which is I got a reminder saying I haven't submitted any gas readings. Um, so there's a little bit of uh, I don't know a mix up there. Um, which I'm just getting sorted through uh, through the through the admin uh, team at Octopus, but um, I've had a really great response from those guys, um, so I, I've got no problem um, with uh, with you know getting that getting that sorted. And I've seen similar um, comments actually on some of my previous videos saying, um, you know, sometimes they've 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 kind of there's been a mix up um, uh, either in the billing or um, getting the sort of smart meters all sort of bedded in. So um, to be expected, but actually, I just sort of trust them to get it sorted. To certainly not dealing with any of the big uh, energy suppliers, which is a complete nightmare. It's all sorted out over email most of the time as well, um, so you don't have to sort of sit in queues and on, and all the rest of it. Now, I'll probably be doing another video about um, another product that Octopus are looking at um, are looking at launching soon, um, which I'm really really excited about. But um, watch this space for that. Um, but for now, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.